What's up, y'all? It's Ra Ali. <laughs> you gotta be me. Hey, brother. it's Lewis here. Quan could have pulled up on Did I say that right? No, I like it though. Keep it going, Ra. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl Cash, your sexologist bestie. Are you ready to pop that? <laughs> Have no fear, Mr. Organic is here. JDR, you know what it is. Okay, Mr. Organic. Damn. <laughs> yeah. You see the mouth? Did you see the mouth? Oh, yeah. shit. Gotta have it right. Yeah. I appreciate you it. You gonna do you guys that? That was yeah. funny as hell. Yeah. We gonna keep that shit. That was funny as hell. <laughs> was just for my son. Welcome, welcome to On, On the, the Contrary. contrary. <laughs> we're back, we're back, we're back. Dang. Welcome, y'all. And we're ready to attack. Okay, guys, make sure that you guys um, check us out wherever you listen to podcasts. Yes, we're talking please. Apple, Spotify, Google. We on everything. And you can watch us exclusively at www.itsonsitetv.com. Get the views up, y'all. Oh, what you got for us, Rob? What you got? What you got? What you got? Um, so we're going to start off with quick fire questions today. Uh -oh. All right. Uh -oh, what is yes. it? Yes. Um, so... <sighs> This is a really juicy topic that I like. Oh, how important is forgiveness in a relationship? And how many strikes before you're out? Oh. This is so good. That's yeah, very important. Oh. I want to start with this one. Uh, okay. You got it, champion. Lou? Well, I was, th this is a difficult one, right? Because it's not the forgiveness piece that's difficult. It's what you're forgiving. Mm -hmm. Like, what is it that's worth forgiving? Can you forgive someone for infidelity? Can you forgive someone for a bad investment? Like, you taking money from our account without saying nothing. Like, where's the forgiveness coming from? So it would depend. It'd be, it be dependent on what you're forgiving. So it can be tough because some I, I'm not with none of that. Like, mm -hmm. oh, you stepped out on me. I'm not with none of that because I'm not stepping out on you. A bad investment is a whole nother thing. Like, if you want to mess the bread up, that, that, that may be not worth forgiving, too, because the amount of time you spend earning that shit and saving it, you can lose it in a snap of a finger in the get back. I don't have 15 years to invest to try to get the back, and you just blew it on some dumb mm -hmm. shit. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's all depending on what you're forgiving, but yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And then how important. many strikes before you out? Well, with them two, one and one, done. One, one and done. done. One but and other done. stuff? Depending on what it is, like you, you, you didn't clean up, and I asked you to, or you didn't pick up my clothes oh. and the dry clothes. What? Who is yeah. he? No, no. Who is this, Come Rob? Come on, man, let's go. The basics. This is like a I'm Lewis Duncan. Okay, I know. <laughs> <laughs> if I asked you to do something for me and you said yeah, you would do it. Let me just clear okay, it up. That's if I asked better. you to okay. do something for yeah. me and you said you would do it and you did not do it, I can forgive you for that. Right. I didn't mean to say oh. I told my your ass to wash these yeah. drawers. My wife be right. telling me what the f to do. She be like, make sure you pick up my Good uniform save. from the cleaning. I'm like, I Good. got you, baby. <laughs> you need anything? You need some juice? Good you save. Need your shoes Good save. Good save. You Lewis. need me to fix the hill? Yeah, yeah. yeah right. Put some gas in the car. I got you, baby. You I'm happy sleep. he did that, bro, because I was like, he better save it. Yeah, I gotta, gotta fix it. it a little bit. Because I can't be like Mr. JDR all the time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. now and again, it, I it's different, though. Like, Anything with cheating and all that from a woman's side, of that, come on, we ain't accepting that at all. Zero, you know. I haven't give you half a chance. I would so think happy something. You said that. Baby, you got to go. You so know happy what I mean? you said that. You have to go. It ain't so no coming back. That's what we back. call a layup. Yeah, that's, that's easy. That's gonna come back later, y'all. Yeah, come on, slam dunk it if you can, preferably. But yeah, and then like <laughs> but when the it woman comes, should forgive you, right? I just want to put it on. That's the why I said I need help. it's gonna come back later. But you need help. I, yeah, she but she's special. She can't, the can't need no, no help. No, no, because she already special. She didn't hide. You know what I mean? She ain't like me. I'm mm. up, motherfucker. Help uh -huh, me, baby. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Lead me the right way. I, right, I'll you let need to talk to the lady. Come on now. You know what I mean? You know what you got? A fucked up motherfucker. Help mold me. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So I'm gonna need that help. But I've been doing good. But on top of that, when it comes to like small things, right? Because I've been in that position when you tell them, oh, you're going to organize that for me while I'm going out of town, give you a whole two weeks to do this, and I come back at nothing done. And you in a big mansion and chilling, eating all the frosting flakes and eating, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? Eat oysters tiger? and all that. My daughter calls how frosting sim flakes cereal tiger. And you Shout ain't out to frosting flakes. <laughs> Kellogg's. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> you're great. <laughs> yeah. Cereal you give a couple. You give a couple <laughs> on that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you give a couple on that. But yeah, we don't. No disrespect. We don't. We don't dwell in disrespect. You know. Notice y'all examples were very similar. Yeah. She conversation. Been doing for y'all. Right. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. You were very very observant. Yeah, well, good. for me. Um, um, I have always been an advocate for um, not having a very forgiving heart in general when you do something that is intentional, right? Mm. Um, because I do believe that you do, it's important as a woman to have compassion and, and, 
and, and forgiveness, but sometimes that's taken advantage of. And sometimes it's just, uh, it's unfortunate, but people, people see that as a weakness a bit. So you have to know when to forgive and when someone is just trying to take advantage. And you have to use that, determine that based on who your partner is. So if I was to just use my personal situation right now, I would say that I know that anything that my husband is doing or done that is not to my liking or my standard or I'm upset about, I know it's not intentional. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because he is not going to just blatantly just be like, yeah, I ain't feel like it. Like, that's just not, that's not right. his character. Mm -hmm. So you have to know who you with. Mm -hmm. However, I have absolutely experienced situations with people who are just subpar humans. Um, and they drop the ball. They say, like, they're going to schedule something or they're going to make an appointment for something and they don't do it. And that just speaks to their character. And you just have to have those standards by yourself. So me, I feel like if we're speaking directly about ourselves, I would say I would be forgiven because I would know it's not intentional. I would know that it's not something that's being done on purpose. Mm -hmm. But overall, as a whole, dealing with these regular niggas out here, these is like, niggas, bye. <laughs> yeah. And I told y'all, I ain't really big on saying bye. Right. I'm more of the Houdini princess. Like, just out of there. You just I out of just there. don't want to even can. talk. Because <laughs> when you start speaking, you give people the opportunity to counter. True. And to try to sauce you. Yep. Or to try to bring you back in with something you want. Oh, I sent a wire. I, you know what I'm saying? Oh, can you come? Let's <laughs> <laughs> go that wire. You know what I'm saying? Wire. Oh, I said, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I got the bag. Come, like, no. If you're really serious and you mean what you're saying, you mean business, and there's nothing that you really feel offended or disrespected or you're not happy with something, just stop the conversation all together mm. and cut off communication. I feel like I got it. you. For me, with this one, I think it's, um, first of all, I, I'm happy y'all gave the examples y'all gave because I do think there's an expectation of women being more forgiving than men. That's number one. Mm -hmm. Like, tolerating so much more shit, but you do something to a guy and it's the end of the world. Mm -hmm. He yeah. can't let it go. He the can't unsee it. He can't unfeel it. He can't oh, anything. Oh, you kissed your work yeah, husband. You did, you did. It's over. Mm. Mm, that's it. That's it. Stay that's at, it. Live at work. That's it. But then they come like <laughs> JDR. Come Baby, I'm, I need to fix it. Please. I do. Help me, please. Help me. Help me he get said, better. He said, for you know, live at work. If she yeah, it's always stay there. <laughs> Better live on that cubicle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> eat lunchables for the rest of your life. Get out of here. For a kiss, shit. though, because Cash is talking, I don't want to interrupt before. A kiss? Yeah, it's over. With. That's definitely over. You heard smooching and all that? <laughs> oh, baby. You, you know got what's so funny? Smooching. Because I know a lot of guys see a kiss is more intimate sometimes than a lot of other shit because, yeah. like, no, I, mean, I, I never kissed him. What? Yeah. So would you prefer her to be yeah. at the cubicle? Either one is off with your head. Ain't no coming back from nothing. You hug a yeah. too much. Like, goddamn, your, your hand, what was his hands? On the waist tight? Or on the ass? Why are you hugging you? But, but you could knuckles. put your penis inside the vagina of another woman That's what and say that do. you need help. I, meant, I must repopulate the world. That's what we programmed to do. It's not the best thing. The we got to turn off. The talk about how you got to yeah, repopulate the world. Yeah, but I'm saying no, that's you your... you just fucking... That's, the, that's, the, that's <laughs> your psych board. I know, but your DNA was programmed to recreate, you know what I'm saying, recreate humans. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So I can do this... Though, even though physically you remove that ability... Yeah, so but my, it's still like, there. What about the woman? The, the need to yeah, do the your chromosomes part? still say do it. What about the woman that's 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 here to... To, to deliver the baby. Yeah, she could do it one time in the whole year. I could do it one time every 10 minutes. It's different. You know what I mean? I get 100 women and I get them all pregnant today. I mean, you get pregnant one time, would. you done. So you didn't even compute the thing. You see what I'm saying? He knows, he okay, you're not he talking about me. Reserve, it's <laughs> the yeah, but it's still, about. I'm just saying for that's But he's going to use that as the reason. Maybe I know I can't actually get her pregnant, but psychologically, I time. believe I am. So I had to fucking see. Yeah, it takes, so. yeah, it takes time to <laughs> weed that out your system. You know what I mean? And I've I'm, been I'm doing Thus, well. He will always prove the point that somebody's about to make. One thing you're going to do is prove that point for us. I yeah, appreciate you for I doing that. Because that's what we. That's what I think they expect. But for me, when it comes to forgiveness, I agree with you, Rob about the intention part because I do think that sometimes people uh, might do something and don't realize that they're doing something that's affecting you. But I also feel like when you see people do shit, you got to say something because yeah. sometimes people don't even know that, oh, I didn't even know it was a problem. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're just expecting, I hate that, I j you should have known. Yeah. Shit. yeah. And there's no. a difference between somebody that's doing something that's a genuine mistake yeah. versus they're being inconsiderate like they, about you. Very if we're important. talking about infidelity, or you're talking about, like Lewis said, making um, the choice to invest money or do something like that. Yeah. With the account that you making got. Making financial that, decisions on your own is like, ooh, just like, like wait, you knew that's what That's a you, good point. Hold on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Let's read. Let's back up. A yeah. Bit. Hold on. 
when you say making financial decisions, yeah. do you feel okay? I'm just asking y'all. Uh-huh. Do you have that, to talk about it all that of it? every financial decision should be discussed? I don't think so. But I think okay. the big ones. Yeah, the big I think ones the really sure. big ones. Like really, how really big? Like just give a just let's the just rise, give. like if I bought a house, should I tell yeah. y'all? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if the if the standard is but a I house, think, then okay. Cool. I think stuff like that is significant because I think that I should if I'm with you, I believe you're financially responsible. You should think I am, and we should yeah. be able to trust that neither Either of us are going to do something that's going to have us f***ed up. And, right. And, you know, but if you're making a big, significant purchase that it's like, babe, I'm about to drop several, you know, several digits out of our bank, like the bank account. That's cool. Because at the end of the day, um, those types of choices without considering your partner, I think is just like inconsiderate and selfish. I have to, I have a confession. What you did? I think I, I think I, I need to be more considerate. Oh. Yeah. I have, I, because when I hear, that's why I love these conversations. That's Mm -hmm. why I think it's important for people as well. Because when you said that, it kind of like resonated just now, like making financial decisions. And I'm just like, my decisions are good. So it doesn't matter. You'll see it when it's, you know what I'm saying? But maybe that's not the right. I think it's not the wrong way. I think it's the wrong order because he probably trusts in your decisions because, like you said, good stuff comes of it. But just that part of feeling like it was a part of it. Of saying like you know I've been thinking about this. This is something I want to do, and I think it'll really be this. Right. Then they feel um, factored in, yeah. especially so if you true. already made that decision. Like if it's a decision you guys made, like we ain't doing this, no big, no big spending unless we you know come first. You just doing behind their back. It's like come on, yeah, see, I told I you. Yeah, yeah. You that's I don't do that. Thank right. God. Yeah. But I, I know value, exactly what you're um, talking yeah. about. But My I don't do the whole. I'm not spending nothing thing because I don't really like that that way that of living. Thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, see, I don't do frivolous things. Anyway, anyway, right. yeah. I feel, but but sometimes just throwing it's it off hard. Of him, right? like big, big money, not like yeah, small. You, still, you, you might tell me, let me have know. A plan right. fully <laughs> out, right? Like, What's this? I but just like think that. about it from the it's other side of it, right. though, right? Conso- it's to hard. consider them. No, not to consider. <clears throat> no, yes and no. Yes, cash. Yes, no. Yes, yes. No. <laughs> which yes. one is I it? I hear it. It's a conflict. Yeah, it's because you used to it. For me to remember to go and okay. I'm an alpha female. Woman. You boss lady we all bro, know this. Right, is. right. But that's my husband is an alpha male as well. As right. well. He's just a calm, quiet one, and I'm a vocal, expressive so, one. So what happens, I got you, Ra. You feel what I'm saying? I got you. So what happens is that, like, I don't, and I respect him a lot and love him, and I know he's the boss and everything, but I have a problem with going to come ask permission for, for anything things. yeah and i Can think I it's a result a of my childhood. Childhood. Not permission is conversation no, it's not just childhood okay. but when you're a person who um has done a lot or yeah. established a lot for yourself without having to have yeah. those checks and balances then it's hard to shake the habit yeah. but i think the perspective i think you're looking at it as asking permission but consider this because you know he's an alpha and he's probably got some great ideas i always bring it just because i want to see if there's something i haven't thought about Right, True. so I might have a plan, and it might be solid, and he might be like, he might ask one question, and maybe like, oh, you know what? I didn't think about that. Yeah. Maybe I need to look into that. So, like you was talking about, um, getting a, getting a, using a name for a restaurant or something like that. Yes. I probably didn't think to check this, or somebody didn't think to check it. And yeah. He'd be like, oh, did someone do this? And he'd be like, you know what, baby? I'm happy you said that. Yes. Let me make it's so very true. I think about it from that end. That if I think my partner's strong, they might help me secure and, and yeah and it might make mm-hmm. whatever i'm doing better it's so true so yeah. you you work, know, one, really two minds work better than one anyway. absolutely you know I mean? any day and all that's day. your partner you gotta trust him yeah you, you, it's what a discussion exactly conversation yeah. you're communicating yeah. mm-hmm. extremely and important you let him, uh, it's the very unexpected true. is the worst i'm sorry baby it's all good see growth we're sorry so we love that i love that very important very important go do better yeah that's a beautiful thing we're gonna hold it to that so i'll let you it is yeah, Holla yeah. At Lewis. And now you know who to ask your Christmas list. Wait. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just kidding now. <laughs> yeah, no, no that's but, really but true. I think that's for forgiveness, guys, I'm a very forgiving individual. If I think, like you said, intention is so big. Mm-hmm. But Lewis, you made a point about something that I had to like bring back to the surface because it triggered a thought in my head. Mm-hmm. And and you I think I, I can't remember who said it on a previous conversation about black women and submissiveness. It came up. Yeah. Right. But what you said and what you said, I'm gonna marry it. For me. Which, when a person says to me or a man says to me he's going to follow through and do something, he, I, I can submit to a man if I believe that if I put it in your hands, I ain't got to think about it. Right. So not doing something that you said you was going to do is going to eat at that, and I'm going to feel like I can't trust you with I got I got to come behind you. I got to whatever, whatever. But that simple communication of saying, baby, I know I said I was going to do this. 
I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it done. You give me the permission to make some other mm-hmm. happen or to potentially fill in the blank, and I'm like, okay, this is somebody I can fuck with. I can't forgive you if you knew that shit might be fucked up and you didn't take the time to tell me that shit might get fucked up. And now mm-hmm. I'm finding out once I'm affected. Mm-hmm. If that makes sense. So yeah. that's a little bit harder for me to get past or whatever. I had one situation. I still haven't forgiven this from my <laughs> ex fiance. I'm not even gonna hold you, and we're not together. What's no the more. sign? A Virgo. Oh, okay. And a, but so Damn I was Virgos. expecting the attention to detail that typically comes with a Virgo. But I would never forget having a freezer full of f-ing expensive meats. Like I had just went to the restaurant depot. We talking about lamb shanks and motherfucking chops and good 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 sirloin. We talking hundreds of dollars. Mm-hmm. of meat that I was about to throw on a grill. We was about to have a good time. And I was like, oh, babe, I just ordered some food. Please clear the refrigerator out if you can while I'm going into this meeting, right? Because oh, I was about to, no, but I was about to go into a meeting and the the, the food delivery was about to come. And, you know, you got to put the cold away. And I knew there was stuff that needs to throw out. So I asked him, can you please throw away whatever might need to go out the refrigerator? But well, he didn't know he threw out the good meat. And he was so proactive that day, Rob, because I'm in the next room on crack? my Zoom meeting. Damn, hold right? on, that's he threw away, real emotional about he this He threw away the now. good motherfucking steaks, the good, I was. Y'all, it was, he, he threw it out from directly from the from rawness the, into the into the trash? From the freezer. It was frozen, so it wasn't oh, going bad. You can't take it back, it back. out? Yeah, we're going to so wipe he, that off. So that's why I said he was being I'm extra proactive. That. This day, he was like, I'm going to do this shit. I'm going to clean this freezer out, and, and I'm going to take it to the dumpster. dumpster. Mm. <laughs> Oh, he went to the dumpster with it. Fed the so bears. I came out. I came Ooh, out. Frozen. Y'all should have saw the pride on his face. He was like, he was like, I was, he was like, he was like, and look at your freezer. Like I cleaned that too. And I opened it and I was like, mm. he was like, some of those had dates that was that's the, maybe that's the sell by date. Right. Um, it's, it was frozen. Damn. All right, P to the meat. And I tried to find this gentlest no way of telling him you f***ed up in a massive way. And you way. also don't want to make him feel terrible because he's doing especially something that's helpful. And especially because he earned money, but financially I was the the right. bigger breadwinner. Right. So I was always trying to be so conscious not to make him feel like I was throwing my money. Like, you can't buy that. You can't replace that. Right. You just threw out. And even if he had, even if he could, if he could it's still it's a waste still of just money. Not, still. Yes. Yeah. Like I Nobody just, wants to rebuy the same thing that they no. already had. Right. Premium right. lamb. Right, right, right. right, right. <laughs> Couldn't get over that shit. Right. I was I like, so we're f***ing me up as I opened the refrigerator. You know what he didn't throw away? The f***ing old crab legs that I didn't finish <laughs> the day before earlier. He was like, I'm like, why you didn't throw the crab out? He was like, that's king crab. That's expensive. I said, no. <laughs> so I didn't he say knows that. what you like. I was like, I was like, can I just show you this article about things that don't go bad in the freezer? Yeah, but learn. I remember you going on the phone. Day. I called my friend. I said, I threw away all my motherfucking meat. I don't think I still. I'm still traumatized. I think you still are. Yo, yeah, I'm so like traumatized by that shit. I would say I don't know if I have a specific number of strikes. I don't think it's a certain number of strikes before they out. But I will say repeat offenses if it's the same strike. So you yeah. can make different mistakes, and we can talk about it and figure talk it through as long as it ain't nothing too crazy. So hey. Hey, new boo, the one we spoke about last week. Listen, make uh, sure uh, if she <laughs> asks you to throw some <laughs> away, you look at the motherfucking date. So my guy. Yeah. He Please look first, at the date. He's so first. much smarter yeah. than that. Too many <laughs> times, too many times this show is not compatible. <laughs> so like, we just got to get on. He's a smart man. What about this? Well, not, what I would say about this one is he's he's very good at avoiding conflict. Like he'd be like, I don't want no problems, man. Like. He's a, Oh, no problems. But he also has a very suggestive dominance, and that's one thing I love. You talked about how your husband's the alpha. We're both that same thing. Mm-hmm. But he knows when I need to be in my mode, and he knows when he, he'd be like, baby, come on over to the cuddle corner real quick. Rob made a good point about how, you know, they both had that personality. I like a man who does know what's best for me but also knows how to make sure I can see what's best for me because I'm hard to listen to it. And when I'm angry, I was going off on somebody the other day, and he let me get my shit off, and then he was like, I'm never going to punish you in public. You know what's I'm funny? never going to chastise you in public. But when we came back, he was like, baby, you was wilding out. I want you to come into this cuddle corner, come in, lay on daddy's chest. And I was like, I ain't, I was, I'm fine. I wasn't, I ain't mean, I yelled at her like that. He was like, you, you, you made her, you was like, and you need to get your shit together and do your job. And you did it. And I was like, so I don't realize it. So I, you definitely need that balance, but all right, guys. All right. Outside of the bedroom. This is topic of the week. Topic of the week. Cause y'all know we be getting lost, but it was good. It was a good conversation. Good shit. Um, is outside of the mm-hmm. bedroom, right? How do you make your partner feel loved? How you make them feel supported? How you make them feel satisfied, right? Okay, so I want to understand from y'all that first question. Yeah. How do you make your partner feel? I, organic, you need some time to think on this one? No, no, I got it. <laughs> I'm on it. You know what I mean? I already know. Give it to us. Give it but to us. Basically, just be gargoyle pro. Style. Yeah, you got to be, you got to, yeah, gargoyle status. 
you got to be proactive, you know, um, and pay attention to what they do and don't like. Um, and once you see that, you know, if they like flowers, just random flowers or something like that, or got a certain, you know, drink or Dunkin' Donuts or something, you know, they like to send it to them. You know, that spontaneous little things go a long way, what mm -hmm. I notice. You know, those random texts, oh, I miss you, I love you, oh, I saw you on your story, they're looking beautiful, bam, just giving those small little things, but you know that'll spark their day up. Mm -hmm. um, I just figured over time that it keeps it, you know, hot, you know, and, and, be, and be active, though. Don't do the same little things, you know, do little things that really – you know, you paying attention this throughout nigga the day. This might actually make a decent yeah. husband. Trying to he tell is, you, he is. Because I yeah. study. I always go off yeah. the cerebral to the first. the right person. Yeah. He gonna, he's, be, he's, he's gonna be. He gonna be solid. He gonna be solid. It's, it's gonna to take some right time. Yeah, it, and it's taking his time. Mm -hmm. We know. It's I just gotta implement all the the, the thoughts and the knowledge I have no, with it. You got the right. Yeah. Found, and foundation. she's gonna appreciate it because she's gonna know that this is not something that right. every other female got. Exactly. That's another thing. Women don't like to have what they feel like everybody else experienced. Like. You, you, I have two questions that are not in our, in our, um, topics today. So we got to answer them really quick. Do it. One thing is this. Do you guys believe that men typically treat women better that are not as good to them as a woman that does everything right? And when I say that, I don't mean mm. physically abusing a man, cursing them out, right. treating them like, <laughs> but a female that kind of just is, mm. is just kind of like, she'll do it, but. You're not, not really sure if you part. got her 100%. Yeah. Right. But, like, let's just say, just say this, right? Okay. She has the, the, the she has everything mm -hmm. going for herself, right? Cool. She treats you nice, but you're not 100% sure if she's totally into you of, or if maybe her attention is some other place, so maybe she's just busy. Or the woman that's literally still physically attractive, but at your beck and call, you text her, she's replying before you even all the way hit sin. Yeah. You see her, she's on you. She's yeah. like almost like she's a thirsty. Yeah. For, for for me, um, I can't chase no woman like that. You know, mm -hmm. like not chase her. No, I'm saying though, you, even if, if she like got everything I like and then she playing halfway in, half, no, no, I can't do that. You need ever. her on, you need on, her on you. you. I need on me. Mm -hmm. Okay. You gotta make sure, yeah, you got I want you Honestly, all over Rado, me. For but sure. do you Especially feel like which one do you think attribute, you treat better? The, the one, one that's all, all over in? me. Yeah. Because okay. I'm gonna be I wanna be all in. Prove to me that you all in, I'm gonna be all in too. Okay. Especially you got every attribute I want. Oh, let's go all the way then. From let's the door, make, but from, from the, the rent. Let's go from the beginning. What are we playing for? You know what I think? I'm not I trying to play no game. Okay. Where a man is in his life, I was though. about to say that. So that let too. me answer that. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I think it would be dependent on what you want. And the woman. There's men that don't like women that hold them accountable for the dumb shit that we do. So we'll say that again um, for the drop. Say what again? Say yeah, what I just said. said. Men Some men don't, don't like when women hold them accountable because mm -hmm. if you hold them accountable, they can't do the shit right. and let yes. you get away with it. Right. So mm -hmm. and then there's that woman that doesn't chase you around where you got to put in the work because she knows she can do what she needs to do for herself without you. For me, that's what I got in the person I'm with now. I felt like. Some shit was just a little too easy for me. If I wanted this, if I wanted to do that, if I did that and got away with it, it was what it was. With this woman that I'm with right now, I already knew, babe. I still know that it's one and done. Don't fuck up. Make sure you're doing what you need to do. Make sure we can be a, a strong team, build a strong foundation, and see what happens from there. So it depends on the man, like you said. It yeah, be dependent because on what if, the man. If he won 100%. So like, yeah. But, yeah. but yeah. he won 100% now. Yeah. I say 10 years ago, he could have met that exactly. same woman, and he wasn't in a space to receive her because he didn't fuck yeah, with she. Wanna, yeah, she wouldn't have been my she woman. Gotta gotta been, yeah. She, she might have got go treated well, but yeah. he didn't want to settle down. Now Never. he's like, I'm trying to actually be serious. That's the I am in life. Yeah, Back then when all them girls chased me, it's just like, you supposed to. See, I have a different take on it. I uh -huh. feel like men treat women better that don't treat them that good. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean mistreat them. Right. I mean, if you're too, like, I don't I don't want to say, like, men Available. like to be abused mm. or that they should be abused. That's not the correct term. But it's more so, like, nice girls really do finish last. Like, I'm just, I've seen it so many times. Good, good, good women that... Are fully all in. I have been that woman. You know what I'm saying. I have been and, that and, woman. But and, that's and, guys and too, a, and though. A good but man, that's, that's why I said even yeah. a, even a good man won't be that interested. And I don't even know if I should go there for this. I don't think it's many interest, many though. years ago. Many 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 years ago, my husband had the option many many years ago to go with the attractive woman that had a job that went to church on Sunday, that was in love with him, mm. or the young bitch. That was like, gimme, gimme, gimme with the fat and a hundred chasing her. And baby, 
let me tell you something. He ain't choose the nice girl. Mm-hmm. It all depends on the guy too. Yeah, you know, I'm like, just saying. Yeah. He's a, he's always been a solid. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all know they want you, a church girl with a little bit of. Yeah. They don't really want you when you're like that. It's it's like yeah, they want a pet, a puppet to sit over here and do what you, what they say because mm-hmm. that is convenient. But the one that's gonna have a mind in his heart is the one that they that hundred percent. Is 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 what he wants because it works for him. It yeah, works. for me, I'm a it different works. person, so it mind works that, yeah. for him because yeah. it works. But really, in his heart and mind, the bitch that really, really would have him is the bitch that's like, never. I'm telling you, it'll get on you my nerves. So. I feel like not what, that I you gotta like... chase her because I'm not talking I can't about play with you gotta me. overly nah, court, I can't, court. I can't do court. it. I just but know I'm, me. I, but I'm, I'm, I think you're gonna be so obsessed though. You're gonna be so obsessed with with um conquering her. Because I keep it real. I had to. I had to like that at the same time. Like, and he be right. He, he seems like the type that actually ready to get one rid of that, them. They both bosses. Yeah. They both got everything I want. Look, pretty, got money, got all this smarts. But one was like halfway and halfway out. I got to where you at and not hitting me back a little bit. Yeah. The other one on point. She got the f- out of here. I just went through it. Like two top level. I could put them right here. Like, I don't uh-huh, know. I'm uh-huh. calling my, my boys like, I don't know which one, bro. They both got that. Body. But she was playing. She's out of there. Exile, banished. This one is here. <laughs> Exile, can be yeah, they sending bitches to the to the death got the, the, the like, banished lands. You know what I mean? But she was more on it. Like, so no, honestly, no, but, 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 but um, what I'll say is this, right? Because, Ryan, right, the girl you talked about, like I said, I was that girl. I'm always going to be real because I think growth is about acknowledging, bitch, you kind of was doing this, right? And that's why I say build a beer all the time. Yeah. But the bottom line is, I definitely always have been an all in person, right? And so for me, I think what would happen is I was all in for the wrong people or people who were not ready Mm -hmm. to be all in with me, right? right? So now you get a different perspective. You could go all in, you know what I'm saying? You could do all of that, but but you got to see that they, yeah, they got to be reciprocating that action. Yeah, Yeah, that's what I think. And I did that to many women, so... But now I'm in a different stage of my life, so I I get both sides. Right. But I know it works for me. Right. And they don't work like he said. He liked the other side. I get it. I get both sides. But, but to, to like can't do it. to kind of answer our question was how you make your partner feel loved, supported, and satisfied. I got a really simple approach to this. I, it's from two ways. One, I have the primary ways that I like to show love, and I also pay attention to the ways they like to receive love. So, because sometimes people also don't know what they they need until they get it. I'm the kind of person who not only sees what you like and sees what you want. But I, I kind of am paying attention to the areas that you don't even realize that you're missing something. And then I go fill that blank in to the point where when I'm not there, my, my absence will be felt, felt right? Yes. Damn, I didn't yeah. even realize like that, that she did this. I didn't even realize that that happened. I went for, you know, so I'm that, I'm that intentional when I decided that it's you. Um, yeah. Okay. Like that's a good one. Yeah. Well, that's all we got for today, y'all. This was fun. I love y'all so much. Love yes, too, yes, yes. It's legendary time. Good conversation. We got growth from Ross, so that's a beautiful day. Yeah. 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 Love growth, yeah. Growth. yeah, for sure. Yes, and we'll see y'all next time. On the, on the, on the contrary. contrary.